<laughs> oh, hi, you, my own knee, John. Your cute little sister is waking you up at love and love. What are you doing? Did you just tell your sister to. Are you exhausted from me saying at the beginning of every one of these. What's the name of that show? Videos, how many new high profile shows are coming out? Well, welcome to Summer 2024 Anime, where we have romance anime, including oh, Sussy Sisters. Ro Alia? Good morning, my brother. おい、かわいい妹による寝起きボディプレスじゃねえか。喜べよ。寝起きドッキリみたいに言うんじゃねえ。ただのDVだろうが。ただのディアビーナス。もう、お兄ちゃんってばあ。しすか。ドメスティック
step siblings. I know you're thinking, step sibling romance without the spice? That's yep. about as useful as fapping to get pregnant. True. But honestly, this looks like <laughs> okay, you probably weren't thinking about. But this honestly looks like yep. they are trying to tell a grounded story about two people later in their lives meeting in awkward circumstances and the realistic drama that would surround it. It's beautifully shot, atmospheric, taking its time with songs that speak right to the heart. The shit is the doom too of incest. This is unironically a really promising looking drama and I swear to god it's not because it has a sister in it. All right, what's next? Chat, what if your soul Chat, what if your soulmate was your sister? Would you let morals get in the way or would you shoot your shot? Oh, hi, you my only chat. Okay, guys. Listen to me when I say with zero irony, Alia yeah. sometimes hides her feelings uh -huh. in Russian. This anime's appeal is pretty simple to understand, you know, it's one of those cute little romance anime I'm comfortably watching on the living room sofa. Looks pretty wholesome and innocent, then my dad walks in, sees this shit plastered on screen and goes, GONE! <laughs> Scooch over, son. Let your dad watch too. This time we have a girl who flirts with the guy, but the catch is she does the flirting in Russian. But wait, the twist is he secretly understands her because he also knows Russian for some, some inexplicable reason. Uh, uh I don't know. I never counted. I am not really a math guy. You know? I'm just waiting for the episode where he reveals that he understood her the entire time and the episode title is just Clueless Japanese Guy Surprises Foreign Girl with Perfect Russian. Normally oh I've gotten tired of these kinds of shows now, but I think I'm going to give this one a chance and you might be wondering why. Yeah, I remember that's how I was when I vaguely understood Spanish and then I could understand all of like my significant other's uh, relatives just shit talking me to my face for just being a white boy. That was awesome. And then when I had to let him know that I understood him the entire time because that was like the only good thing going on in this girl's life. Oh man, they were devastated. Man, that shit was so funny. Hi. No, Jokokobo, I just- I swear to God, bro, some families just shit talk people's significant others for no reason, bro. Like for no, they just be hating for no reason. So good at what they do, they might it's as well like be giving insulin shots with everything they make now. <laughs> Yep, it's not true. because of the little sister character! It has been a while though since the season hasn't been completely dominated by high profile sequels, but there are still a few. Tower of God is back, My Hero Academia Dude, I need to watch Tower of God. I watched four episodes of Tower of God. Bro, it was amazing. Like every single episode was amazing. I need to crush that shit. Dude, Tower of God was so Good. Still airing along with more Shy like, Hero Academia good. starring Bocce the Rocket. More near a tomato. Hopefully the hype for this season remains and it doesn't get plagued with production issues. Fairy tale, a hundred year quest? Who's asking for more fairy tale in Nobody. 2024? Okay. <laughs> You know, I think we may have been a bit too harsh. Yeah, I think, okay. The fans have had it rough. Uh, I'll watch and, it. You know, every anime has its positive Is this real? Monogatari is back to show all these modern anime how it's done. See, unlike all the other anime this season, Monogatari has historically depicted a more normal sibling relationship. All right, grab uh, hey, man. That toothbrush scene f***ed me up, bro. Grab the kid. Grab the kid. We all see it. Grab, grab, we're all not proud of it. It's, it's a kid. Go, go, guys, guys. Just, I got him. Ah, dude, what the fuck? You got him, my arm. There was a misinput. Misinput. Calm down. You calm the fuck down. Cloverworks continue to prove that whether or not they mess up an adaptation, at the very least, everything they touch looks absolutely godlike. I thought Wistoria would fuck. I'm already bored of Windbreaker, and I'm really sad about that. Far and beyond be the best looking anime this summer, but the sheer creativity in some of these storyboards, the amazing direction, casual art style switch up, and the pure animation eye candy might just put it a step above. Having said that, I'm a bit confused as to what kind of tone we're going for here. Some dude fuck? gets diced up to a pile of bloody cubes, the whole village is massacred, a fucking kid gets beheaded. It has some of the most grueling, gruesome imagery you can find all season. Then it hits you with a... <laughs> This is like ah. a shonen anime taking place during the Red Wedding, but credit to Cloverworks for being able to get this much attention worldwide. This is meant to be set during a real historical time period in Japan, and it's stuff like this that can get an international audience interested good? in your history. I wonder what the Japanese audience thinks of this. I'm not gay, but when I imagine this guy half naked, his ribs are faintly visible, and I can't stop ejaculating. I swear I'm not gay. <laughs> okay, alright, great, man. That's enough history lessons for today. All right, 
We've got to switch things up. Chat, when was World War II? Samu Dazai has one of the most tragic stories in Japanese history. As one of Japan's most famous novelists, Dazai experienced the darkness few humans have ever encountered, leading him to attempt to take his life not once, ah, twice, but four there. times, to which fate denied him and forced him to continue living his torturous ah, life. There. Eventually, he would put his broken soul into the novel, No Longer Human, one of the most harrowing pieces of media to ever be created oh before God. he would eventually be able to successfully take his own life finally fulfilling his wish of being left alone and finally given the grace of death anyway here he is in a wacky isekai yep we got a silly comedy about a depressed author who wants to off himself in another world chomping pills like it's a mukbang video and charming goddesses with his <clears throat> suicide rears God, that line made me want to Osamu does I myself. This isn't the first time anime has taken creative liberties with their historical figures, but it does make you wonder, is there anything they won't put in an isekai? Yep. Don't adjust your screens, this is really happening. When I first saw this get announced, I had to double check that the date wasn't April 1st. This isn't an idea you'd expect for some wild fan fiction, but I think Warner Brothers realized all they needed to do was to give us anime Harley Quinn, then look us weebs dead in the eye and go... <laughs> I knew you would come. All nope. in all, this seems- Absolutely not. I'm not watching this shit. This shit is an abomination on the anime world. I'm good. There's no way. It's like way. just a fun, don't take too seriously type of show, giving us exactly what we'd expect. The Suicide Squad bro. having a romp in an Isekai fantasy world. You want to know why? Because America is fixated on making Harley Quinn ugly. And it's so irritating. I, I hate how we live in Western culture where all of these fucking women in anime or, or women in shows- just have to look fat and ugly. It's so irritating. It's like we're trying to pretend that attractive females don't fucking exist anymore. Like, uh, sorry, guys, the beauty industry has already done enough uh, irreparable damage to the youth. Uh, making everybody fucking disgusting isn't going to help anything, man. Like, I'm good. But I'm not sure if I was expecting a bit more coming from the writer of ReZero and animated by Studio Wit. A studio yeah. that has historically put out banger after banger. Because I'm not sure if there's anything else taking their focus. If he says this show is good past episode one, I'm going to click off. Okay, Gart? Because I watched this. This shit was trash. The first episode was funny. The second episode was so bad. What the actual... But Hello, my dear friends. Hey. Today, I want to do a class presentation about everyone's favorite animal. Deers. Yep, Here are some them. fun deer facts. Love them. They can run up to 30 miles per hour. All male deers grow antlers. Yep. They have an avid aversion towards anyone named Connor. Deers are actually majestic creatures. Let's have a look at some of these sure. magnificent animals in action. Amazing. Deers can be found Amazing. across the world, including countries like England, Japan, America, Politer America, the North Pole? Uh, I disagree. I actually think Canada is far worse uh, than America. As a man who's lived in America for 20 years and Canada in 10 years, the difference is, is that all the people in Canada are a bunch of pussies uh, and they won't shit talk you to your face. Uh, so it's more like passive aggression rather than pure aggression. Me personally, I prefer someone call me a bitch to my face than shit talk me behind my back to all my friends. Uh, yep, fuck that. It was fucking garbage the whole time. Yep, not a fan of that one, man. Fucking hated my time in Canada. It was awful. And of course, Narnia. There are over 40 species of deer, such as the red deer, the reindeer, the dead deer, the Australian jump deer, or as the locals call it, jumpos. And of course, Deer the Rock Johnson. Here's a fun deer joke. What do you call a deer with no eyes? I have no idea. Blind. That concludes today's presentation. I hope we all learned a little bit more about deers today because I have no idea what the fuck this show is about. I parry- Okay, great. Uh, yeah, so it's about a person who's a deer and uh, then another chick who's a hidden Yakuza uh, and then that goes out of the win window, episode one, and then episode two is just trash. Uh, there it is. Everything. Now, this is a fantasy action about a man who parries- Everything. Awesome. He parries swords, he parries a staff, he parries a goddamn cow.
He's so cool. He's so Holy cool. Holy shit, he buried his virginity! This is pretty much what the title says it is. It's an anime tailor-made for you Sekiro fans out there. It's an anime tailor-made for you Street Fighter oh 3 no, Third no, Strike no, no. fans out there. And it's nice to see a protagonist who doesn't look like the same beta soy boy for once. True. I just want to see how far Fucking they can take true. this concept. Can he parry a gun? Can he parry a nuke? Can he parry my invasive thoughts? Oh ho ho, you can parry everything, huh? Well, parry this. You're a talentless hack, you'll never achieve anything in life, and you're old. I had sexual relations with your mother. I am! Elsewhere in fantasy, Plus Size Elf is here to undo all the good the Dumbbell Show has done for Weaves, with the series giving us some American representation in the only way anime knows how. That's right. Blonde girls. If you're a fan of cake, I don't think you're ready, because respectfully, this anime doesn't have cake. It's the entire fucking baking industry. We got Onis, we got Dark Elves, we got Marcel after season three of Dungeon fuck. Meshi. Failure Frame is your pick if you want some dumb, edgy fun. This one was a niche concept, but I actually enjoyed it. You have a girl who is basically engineering her own magic tools in a fantasy backdrop, and I was honestly impressed. You truly do feel like you're in a made-up fantasy world because they actually made engineering look fun. We're gonna play some power fantasy that is no different from your generic OP main character in a fantasy world, except this time the protagonist is in his 30s, and I feel Finally. offended that this is the representation they think 30-year-olds want. You wanna give us a power fantasy? Give us a mildly exciting new kitchen appliance. The ability to stay up past 2 a.m. Hell, wake me up when there's a protagonist who doesn't get a life-altering injury because he slept funny one night. <laughs> First, there was anime. Hell yeah, then, dude. I swear to God, man. Like, when I turn 30, bro, I can't sit on shit without my dick going to sleep. Like, if I go on the exercise bike at the gym for longer than 15 minutes, my dick completely asleep. I sit on the toilet for longer than 20 minutes, my ass asleep. I sleep on my shoulder wrong, pain for three weeks, bro. I'm old. I'm old. Put me down, bro. Put me down. You think Asmund's dead in four years? I'm dead in two years, bro. It's over. Came fictional idols in anime avatars. Then came real life idols yep. in anime avatars. Yep. Now, I present to you fictional anime about fictional idols playing real life idols in anime avatars. Wow. <laughs> For the first time, anime has actually given us a VTuber anime that accurately depicts the culture and content to the point where even I was surprised. Real looking live 2D models using OBS as a streaming software, they play actual stream games like Getting Over It and of course what? going live on you- our tube? Anime has been screaming for a true to life depiction Communism. of VTubers, but I gotta wonder how accurate it is to have a drunk VTuber who just shouts obscenity on stream- huh? You know, for once, we have a season not dominated by isekai or fantasy Maybe because I'll romance seems to be going through a bloody that second renaissance this summer. Senpai's and Otokonoko is a cute little romance where a girl confesses to a female crush only to find out that they're actually a boy. <laughs> This is just Astolfo fans coming to terms with their sexuality. My wife has no emotions, aka man gets dumped and immediately goes to fuck his toaster. I get that this is meant to be a cute and innocent little series about a guy falling for his robot housewife appliance, but dude, seeing this guy awkwardly attempt to chat up his toaster gave me shades of the same energy as watching a grown-up Kazuya from Rent-A-Girlfriend. <laughs> Bro is being a certified smegma male. Another sister romance anime? Wait, no. False alarm. It's just a romance with two girls who are sisters. <laughs> Look at that anime. No sweet home Alabama this time. This one actually has the most accurate sibling relationship because it's about two twin sisters taking it turns going, Mom Holy says it's fuck. my turn on the Xbox. But you know, instead of playing Call of Duty, they're playing Halo Reach for My Peach with their childhood friend. Do you play a co-op? I would have picked Call of Duty. Enough of your harem anime, we have a girl who <laughs> is the harem. She can be a Tindere, Kudere, Dandere, little sister. Onita. Yeah, add that one to the list. Introducing anime's very first Omnidere. This is just the girlfriend version of those knockoff game cartridges that promise- I also heard there's a show called like, I have like a hundred soulmates and they all go to my high school and it's like, either he dates them all or they all die. Do you know what show I'm talking about? Are we, what is that shit called? Like, yeah, 100 girlfriends or some shit? 
That was out last year. Is that shit good? Yeah, the 100 grand. That, that's porn? Are you sure it's porn? It's terrible. Yeah, 100 girlfriends that really love you. Yeah, grown one falls when he's like 15. 10 girlfriends who really, 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 really like you. Yeah, uh, it's called 100 girlfriends that really, 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 really love you. Uh, the mods love that one. Harem is peak. Sounds like hentai. It's good. Is it porn or no? I watched it all on Gig Extreme. It was ass. How the f*** did you watch it all on Gig Extreme? Uh, what do you mean we love that one? That's what I'm saying. He dates a girl's mom. Okay, great. And the manga, he already has 30 girlfriends. We're at 40 and some girls at the manga. What the f***? It's 100 games in one. I was wondering where harem anime could go after one man finding 100 girlfriends. Who knew that the next step was just 100 girlfriends in one? Wait a minute. This is just weaponized schizophrenia. The proper etiquette <laughs> when conversing yeah. with girls. I remember with schizophrenia, it becomes a great power to lucid dream pretty much at will. Uh, at least for mine. And I can like feel the things that happen in my dreams sometimes. Uh, it hasn't happened in years, which I'm actually really upset about. Maybe my brain is healing. I don't fucking know how it works. But I remember I could have sex with anime girls in my brain and I could feel it, bro. It was awesome. A guide by 2.5D Seduction. Oh. <laughs> 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 Wait, you're so telling dumb. me a 2D obsessed, unsociable hentai addicted weeb starts uh. an anime club by himself, and the only person who joins is a cute, attractive girl whose only interest is cosplaying his favorite character right before a hot Holy superstar fuck. model transfers over, who's actually his childhood friend that's had a crush on him for years, and all they want to do is get him to take pictures of them cosplaying as hot, cultured anime characters? And you motherfuckers tell me Isekai is the power fantasy genre. From the creator of Hyoka, we've got another mystery detective series that is certainly a treat for the eyes. It might not- Well, boys, it's been fun. Hey, boys. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what time it is? Hey, you know what time it is? It's been fun, boy. <clears throat> Be Kyoto animation, but this still looks bloody beautiful. The background, the atmosphere, the directing. This looks gorge- Wait a minute. Ah, oh, they're not siblings! We're finally safe, What's boys. the point? This is a different kind of detective story. There are no high-stakes mysteries to solve, no murder to uncover. It's about solving the little mysteries you find in everyday life. They have a full 10-minute Sherlock Holmes breakdown about how this guy makes his hot chocolate. This wow. is like if Makoto Shinkai adapted a Reddit thread from r slash interesting, but somehow it keeps you engaged all the way through. It's about getting you invested in something inconsequential, finding something interesting in the mundane, and it really shows how these people yeah, uh, really- I'll be real, man. I can't watch a show like that. That shit sounds so fucking mid, it's insane. Like if, if my main character isn't the chosen one and he has to kill God to save the planet. I just don't feel like fucking watching it, to be honest. Need to find a fucking hobby as soon as possible. Because it's a show about an me. Than me. This relatable. season has been a no-holds-bar free-for-all for romance, but even with all the choice on hand, there was still one that impressed me the most. Too Many Losing Heroines shows a guy accidentally witnessing a short, blue-haired anime girl getting last place in her own romance anime, like, uh... <laughs> All of them, and through that forms an unlikely friendship before unwittingly becoming Damn, the center to a bunch of real, other girls bro. who have all been the rem to their rivals Amelia. That's too real. Up what I'm putting down. If romance anime were Evo, this shit is the losers bracket. This is one of those shows that is self-aware enough to poke fun at all the cliches that plague the romance genre, but doing it in a way that clearly celebrates everything that is taken inspiration from. It gives you some great character writing, organic banter, and jokes, but isn't shy about hitting you with. The Hold up, there's a cat video. What is he thinking about? What is he thinking about? That is amazing. These emotional scenes in between all that. Oh, and did I mention the production? This anime just seems to be teeming with passion. Just look at the ending. They had to experiment with new dollies and camera rigs, combining live action shots with real cell animation oh, to get this sick. cool aesthetic. All this effort for something 90% of you are probably gonna skip anyway, but yep. that's how you know they give a shit. And it looks like the team have taken that same passion and put it in the rest of the anime because it looks fantastic. I will want millions of you the romance it. anime, this had the the strongest premiere and is one of the shows I'm going to be keeping a close eye on because it's just <laughs> yeah I'm Look, good 
I don't know what is up with all the sussy sisters this season, but I swear my mum's life, this is not the reason I'm praising them. We just have a whole season where some of the most popular or beautifully crafted shows have this little sister in them who seems way too enthusiastic about their brother, okay? Look, there are other animes you could watch. I mean, what else is hot this season? Nobody say a word. <laughs> Yep. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much this month too. Author Curtis X Team, Basil, Dysfunctional D. Giga just has this magical way of just making these fucking videos so goddamn good, man. I honestly look forward, I honestly look forward to his videos with the anime of the season more than I actually look forward to watching the animes of the season. So fing good, man. Mama, I'm a criminal, criminal, criminal. Mama, I'm a criminal.